at the upper limbs while Nancy's seated on the table. And as we're looking uh, at the limbs, uh, while I'm moving them and testing for strength, I'm also observing and I'm looking to see if there's any uh, atrophy or abnormal movements, fasciculations on one side or the other while we're doing all of this. So as I start, uh, what I want to do is check the upper limb tone. I just want to feel your arm here. Just let everything go loose, play dead, let me do all the work. So while supporting the elbow, I pretty much just gently want to move her arm passively at all the joints. So what I'm doing, I'm moving at the shoulder joint, I'm flexing, extending at the elbow joint, I'm even pronating and supinating the forearm, and I'm moving the wrist in extension, flexion, abduction, and adduction. And that's, that passive movement there gives me a feel of her tone. I feel a little bit of resistance. It's not abnormally increased. And then I'll look at the other limbs, same thing. I'm just going to let this guy go floppy. And I'm going to be kind of moving at the wrist, elbow, and shoulder joints all in one smooth move. And it, that tone feels like a normal amount of resistance, and they both feel about the same. So that's great. And I don't see any asymmetries or any problems there.